The Alma Airedales take on the Rogers Heritage War Eagles, but what is the game plan for this Friday's game at the Airedale Stadium? I mean, we're obviously excited for another opportunity. We're 0-2 and, uh, you know, looking to find our first win. We're excited that we're at, back at home uh, against the team that we beat last year. So the kids have prepared well this week, and we're going to continue the next couple of days and excited to uh, have another Friday night game here in Alma. And I think defensively, after the first two games, we, we're playing pretty good on the defensive side of the ball as a unit. Uh, we've given up a, a few big plays, which have hurt us in the first two games. But right now, defensively, we kind of feel real comfortable with where we're at. And offensively, we're struggling a little bit, but we're trying to get the ball moving a little bit and uh, trying to get some first downs and score. Here are just some of the plays from last year's games at Rogers Heritage High School. Down to Corsi, complete touchdown, Alba! Jacob Corsi with a beautiful pass. 53-yard touchdown completion from Connor Stacy to Jacob Corsi with 8.57 to play. To outside, open. across the 15, going to be knocked out of bounds. And now, even though the quarterback was knocked out of bounds, the official, Hensley, hands off, right up the middle. Across the 20 to the 25. Corsi at the 5, the 10, the 15. The 20, Connor. Jay gets the snap, Cronister gets the call, inside the 5, touchdown Alma! Logan Cronister carries it in from 11 yards out. Right-footed kicker, smashes this one. It's going to be returned from the 2 to the 10, 15, 20. Nice hard hit and stop by Landon Burkhardt. And Burkhardt oh, the gets the call, trying the outside. Moves it into Alma's end of the football field and knocked out of bounds at the 44 yard 10 and brought down immediately. Great play. By Alma will have a chance to score and win this ball game. <laughs> wow. Kick is up. And it is good. Alma wins the ball game. Alma wins. Dane Martin. Puts it through in overtime for a Airedale victory, 17 to 14. A quick. I'm Chloe Lewis from Airwaves Media.